Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. For the financial year ended the 31st of March 2023, the Monetary Authority of Singapore, MAS, recorded a net loss of 30 billion 800 million Singapore dollars. According to Minister of State for Trade and Industry Alvin Tan, Singapore's monetary policy focuses on keeping inflation low and does not take into account any potential impact on the central bank's profits. This is a similar approach taken by other major central banks around the world, which have also reported losses from monetary policy operations over the last year, he added in a parliamentary reply. MAS. Monetary policies focus purely on keeping inflation low and ensuring medium-term price stability. It does not take into account any potential impact on MAS. Profits because to do so would undermine its mission. MAS. Financial performance is a necessary consequence of its conduct of monetary policy, said Mr. Tan in response to several parliamentary questions about the record loss posted by the MAS. In the last financial year, Professor Ma will now explain why the conduct of monetary policy led to record losses at MAS. Basically, in order to keep inflation low, MAS will need to increase the value of the Singapore dollar with respect to other currencies, and it does this by buying Singapore dollars from the currency market, using foreign currency from its reserves. When the value of the Singapore dollar rises, the value of the remaining foreign currencies held by MAS in its reserves will fall, as MAS results are reported in the Singapore dollar. The negative currency translation effects led to losses of about 21 billion 400 million Singapore dollars or 70% of the annual net loss, the MAS said in its annual report last month. MAS also incurred higher interest expenses of 9 billion Singapore dollars as part of mopping up excess liquidity in the banking system. This made up around 30% of the loss MAS incurred in the last financial year. While the MAS did not provide details on this, Professor Ma thinks that the MAS would have had to sell more Singapore dollar-denominated bonds and the additional interest that MAS had to pay on those bonds amounted to $9 billion. At this juncture, some of our viewers may be wondering if the losses sustained by MAS are due to any form of negligence. Professor Ma's view is that the losses are due to the policy direction followed by MAS, which is to keep inflation low, and are not due to negligence. In other words, the losses incurred by MAS is the price that Singapore pays for keeping inflation low. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.